Now, a few things I would uh, like to share with you about your question paper. As uh, I might have seen in the paper, sample paper that I've shared with you in your WhatsApp group, right? You've all got it? Yes, I can see many of you got the printout also. Very nice, very good, all right? So we clap for Gurusimara and uh, Shantanu, okay? And others at home, can I see yours also? Can I see you have the sample paper? Or are you going to look at it uh, in your phone only? Do you have it? Yeah, very nice. Grov, you're the best. You know that you're the best. Yes, very good. Right, good boy. What about you, Shivansh? Are you studying or not? Yes, what about the others? Are you, I, I like to see a sample paper. Can I have a look, please? So like, okay, fine. I assume that you have it, but uh, right? So if you can't turn on your videos, that means you haven't even bathed and washed uh, yourself. That's why you don't want to show yourself, isn't it? You're sitting in a very untidy condition. Please make it a routine, right? Okay, yeah, you are here. This is your classroom, your virtual classroom that you have opted for. And when you are there, even when you went to school, at least you wore your uniform and got ready and got dressed. So make sure that you take out a little time and uh, get properly dressed up for your classes. That of course, look neat and presentable. I, I don't mind if you wear the same dress again and again, okay? Who cares uh, there in online classes, right? Like Wanda. But yeah, look neat and clean. Fine. Yes, yeah, so here, if uh, you have gone through the sample papers, how many of you have gone through the sample paper? Got an idea? Got little shockers also? Yes. No jolts, no earthquakes, nothing? Calm, easy? Okay, good. Right, uh, yes. So the things that you have to remember, yeah. So total, how many questions are there? There will be 50 questions that you have to attempt. Okay. We might like not give you so much of choice. Okay, because you people are, I think so right now, you're incapable of handling so much of choice. You might uh, forget how many questions I have to do and get more uh, overwhelmed by the uh, extra questions here. So 50 questions you will be attempting and you know you have your reading section in which you have your comprehensions, you have writing and grammar, okay, and then comes your literature. Yeah. They will be converted. Your 50 will be converted into 40. Okay. So we'll give them out of 50 and of course, then later on it will be converted into 40, right? And if you divide it, you'll find that if it is there, each question carries 0.8 marks in. Yeah, okay, right? Naturally, 15 to 0.8 is 40. Am I correct? Is it? Yeah, it should be. So that is uh, what uh, you have to Remember, but the thing is, yeah, so whether it is 50 marks or 40 marks, you have to attempt 50 questions, right? And uh, yes, here in the choices also, be very, very particular, the answer that you select and the option that you circle. They have to be the same, otherwise, uh, yeah, it's going to be a big loss for you all, right? What are you doing? Taking the correct answers beforehand. Why are you so lazy to read also? Do not do that. Done. Yes, done. The, that is how you do it without even reading. Okay, wait, I'll, I'll ask you that. And please, of course, yes, even though the answer key has been shared, I have not even gone through the answer key myself. So I, I think so you are capable enough of doing the questions yourself. Now see here, or if you look at your uh, sample paper, and uh, we'll just uh, see through it. Look at the reading passages. Yes. And uh, here it is once again, section A reading has 18 questions. So you will doing total 14 questions as per specific instructions. So there might be choices here, like see in this uh, comprehension passage one, there are 10 questions and you have to any eight. So there's an internal choice also, right? So you will have to answer. No, no. You will not get extra marks. In fact, the last two will be deleted, be crossed out, will not be checked. 
whether they are right or wrong, it's your loss. So do eight questions and do them correctly. Write the correct answer set. Do uh, extra attempt is not going to get you extra marks. You will not get you. Yeah, yeah. See corresponding. How will the OMR sheet be given to you? Do you know what an OMR sheet looks like? Yes. Yeah, so you have like one and two, and you have these uh, corresponding circles. You have A, B, C, D, right? So you will have to. So if it is one C, you will have to darken the corresponding circle, right? So if you don't want to do question number three, you will leave it blank, right? So this is your answer. So whether it is like here, you have A over here, right? And here you, you want to leave uh, the third one. You don't want to do it. So that is unattempted, uh, okay? Right, so you will not get zero for it because you have not attempted it only. If you put the right option, uh, wrong answer, then you get all questions carry same mark. There is no negative marking. So what are you going to do? Look at the question here. This is question one. The corresponding question, right, on the OMR sheet, you will darken it. The correct answer which you think, A, B, C, D, option, whatever is the correct answer. And please read the questions correctly for internal choice, one, right? And uh, of course here, yes, uh, have you read this passage? Look at the next passage also. The next passage is also there. Next you see here, eight questions are there. Six questions you have to attempt, right? And please remember this. You have to be very, very particular. Supposing you've been doing 14, 15, you don't want to do 16 and 17. And then after that, you're doing 18. So don't attempt, you know, like do the circle in number uh, 16. So leave 16 and 17, do it in 18. Fine. The correct sequence matters a lot. The number has to be matching. Otherwise, yeah, you'll wonder that where have my marks been lost, okay? That is why we're having a practice test beforehand. So this is your PT2 exam that you're going to have, which we're starting shortly. It is a practice so that you get an idea how to conduct the, uh, this uh, fill the. Okay, come on, let's open to grammar and writing. We're going to start with that. Yes, all of you, can I see your uh, papers there? Uh, if not, you can just open it in your phones also. Right, if you are attending your class on another screen. Okay, yes. Now let's hear. The hospital board clearly mentioned that page number six. Page six, have you found it? Yes, instructions will be given. You're going to darken it with a pen or a pencil or whatever. Right, so please don't do the darkening like this. Supposing these are your uh, circles, let me make, make bigger ones here. So don't just put a dot over here. Right, this is the incorrect way of attempting. Don't put a dot like this. Darken it properly and nicely. So that option has to be darkened properly. Okay, right. So it is absolutely clear. So when I look at the OMR sheet, I can see the responses. Fine. Now the hospital board clearly mentioned that you dash a smoke in the hospital as it is a health hazard. That you must not. It is an order. And for orders, it is must not. Can and could are your abilities. Might is a probability. So it is not here, right? So it is must not. There's never dash petrol left after Rahul uses the car. There is never look at the options much, little, many, or little. And of course, petrol here. What are we going to use it? Is it countable or uncountable? Uncountable. So there's never much petrol left after Rahul uses the car, okay? I am taking driving lessons now. Hopefully, I dash my driving test by November. Something that is going to happen in uh, November, right? So yes, what do we use to express the future? Wood. I am taking dri driving lessons now. Hopefully, I... Okay, we'll have taken or I would pass my driving test by no November. Which one? Yes. Now and November. Please decide. I will be taking my driving test by November. Is it? 
I would pass. There's nothing mentioned about passing, isn't it? Right now, he's taking his driving lessons. Right, he's taking driving lessons. Let's focus on this verb only. I am taking driving lessons. Hopefully, I will be. Uh, now I remember. Will have taken means I would have passed that. Then, see, it's very near there. I will take my driving test by November. This also seems correct. I would pass my driving test by November. This is also correct. I will have taken. This also appears to be correct. I will be taking which which one is the correct option? Uh, let us say taking, right? And by November, by November, the future, right? So I will have taken my driving test by November. Let's see this one. I am taking and I will have taken. And of course, you take here. It is something that is going on. It is a continuous, right? Which option displays the correct change of the following to reported speech? Okay, now we have to change it from direct to indirect. Sunita asked Venkat, how much is the rent for your flat? Now, please change it. Find the correct answer. It is an interrogative sentence. It is a WH question, right? Yes. What are the things that will be changed? How will it remain? How? Yes. I'll remove the question mark. Yes. So, find out. B part is correct. Yes, even I think, yeah. What about A and B? Um, how much was his rent for flat? No, this is wrong. Asked Venkat how much the rent for his flat was. Because, yeah, there is a change of the, what? You pronounce it? Yes. Which option displays the correct change of the following to the reported speech? Once again, this is also a reported speech. She said, I told Damanji to send you an email three weeks ago. I told Damanji to send you an email. What, which sentence is it? What, is it, it's not interrogative, right? Yes, it's a simple sentence. It is, of course, it is, uh, what, an, uh, I told, uh, you tell uh, someone, you order someone, you request someone, it is imperative, okay? She, said so obviously here she said so she said would be there isn't it she said to then it would have been told right so we have to see these changes look at the reporting verb and look at the reporting speech also so she said that she had told Damanji to send an email to me three days before ago right yes because then is also wrong and uh, A, B are also there. So please, little, little things here that you need to remember, okay? So all of them, and just pick out one thing that you will need to focus on. Look at the reporting verb. Look at the time here. Three days ago, it's past, right? So three days before. Where is it? The last one, second one. But what is it has mailed me is? wrong it is not complete isn't it so that one the dog under the chair before the children arrive some action which has been done before another yes the children had hidden under the chair before the ch children arrive the dog had hidden before the children arrive an action which took place before something happened which tense The dog, which verb are you going to use along with it? The subject verb agreement. The dog had hidden two pasts. Do we use that? Has been hiding under the chair before the children arrived. Has been hiding. Okay, right. Now, next one answer any five out of this. This is the most trickiest part. This is the most trickiest part. Your writing skills. Look at this very, very carefully. This is the kind of questions you're going to get, okay? Right? Absolutely same questions you're going to get. 
Now you are Debashri, a resident of Siliguri, Assam. You have to write a letter to the editor of a national daily drawing attention towards and please don't look at the answer keys which is CBSC is there. They are not correct. There are changes there. There are incorrect answers also, as you have just found out. Okay? And especially in tenses. Especially in tenses. Please make sure when to use which tense. You are Debashri, a resident of Siliguri, Assam. You have to write a letter to the editor of a national daily drawing attention towards the difficulty faced by differently abled people at tourist places. If you want to, for on the rough page, if that would be given to you, write the format. Okay, rough sheet will be provided to you. Okay, for your practice and all, and the, the, maybe there's a sheet for rough work over there. Write your format. Then we can pick up the correct option. As I've told, it is going to be format based. It's going to be content based. They have given you this question. We are wondering, are you writing skills? Yes, I get this. Is how you going to get writing skills? And the way of, I, I've asked you questions in your uh, tests also. Right now, select the option with relevant aspects that Devishri should select for this letter. What are the things? See, in, here in the answers, more than one option is given. So there are more than one thing that he has to select for the letter. Okay. What does he have to select? The newspaper's name? Yes. Because we write down the name in the format. Indian Express, Times of India, Hindustan Times, all this we write or not? Yes. Are you listening at home? Are you listening? Or are you still sleeping? Can I see you all? Okay, yeah, of course. Uh, uh, yeah, who is there? Right, yes. Okay, but you please just uh, go through this. So let me see. Only two responses. Listening, Raghav. Okay, very nice. Raghav, I expect you to write the answers also. Okay. Yes, good. So don't just listen for the correct answer. Do you all have the sample papers? Yes, we do. Now, what are the things that I need? I need the newspaper's name. Look at your format. What are the things we write? Attached proof of the newspaper subscription. What does subs subscription mean? What does it mean? Shantanu saying yes, yes. He's copied the answers right now. What does subscription mean? What? That? It's coming to your place? Yes. Right, are you reading that newspaper? You were paid for it. That is a subscription. Do we need it? No, we don't have to cross. Devashri's address? Of course, we need Devashri. Who's Devashri? Is she the receiver or the sender? Devashri is receiver or sender? Sender. Formal tone? Okay. Expected date of the letter's receipt? Expected date of the letter's no. No, we don't need that. So five is not there. So which are the things that I need? Should select, I have the newspaper's name. One is there. One is absolutely correct. I need Debashri's address and I need a formal tone to write the letter. Isn't it? Right? Because when you look at the other options, because five is incorrect. Two is incorrect. So the options having those answers, it is not correct. So find out little, little shortcuts that is going to save you time. You might think, oh God, multiple choice questions. I have to do inky, pinky, pinky, and that's it. Left, right, left, right. Here, there. Answers done. No. If you are going to do it honestly, it is going to take time. Yeah? Fine. Yes, Shivansh, I know what you're going to do. Don't worry. Now select the appropriate subject for this letter. Drawing attention towards differently able people. Is it? More than that, what is it? Question, difficulty faced by differently abled people at tourist places. Who are differently abled people? People with special needs, right? People with a disability, right? So, yes. So, C is not correct, Imani. C is not correct. It is inconvenience faced by the differently abled at tourist spots. Yeah, look at the meaning of C. Tourist places are an inconvenience to differently abled people. Ki tourist places pe wo log pareshan hote to jana nahi chahiye. That is what it means. Is it? No, that is absolutely wrong. What about first drawing attention towards differently abled people? That would be a general thing. Right? We are talking about a 
specific place where they are facing problem at tourist spots. Is it differently able, neglected or misunderstood? No. And is this a topic for a letter? Or is it a topic for a more or less, uh, you can say, for a speech or an article? No. So it is not the correct option. So we found the correct option, which is the correct option? D. Okay. Next is, which option should Debashri select to elaborate on the difficulties faced by the differently abled? Look at all these things. Absence of ramps, unclean toilets, high ticket prices. Out of this, which one is relevant for the differently abled people? Absence of ramps. Okay, fine. Next is, unsuitable timings, tourist train, no lack of, this is not relevant. The next one, absence of ramps, tourist guides, untrained, lack of braille, slip tourist pamphlets. Okay. Unclean high and uh, D is absolutely incorrect. A and B, uh, C at least have one option which is relevant, but C has the most. These are the things that you have to. So, of course, differently able people are not able to go, you know, like or able to manage things on their own. They require help of other. So, whether they're on the wheelchair, whether they're not able to see properly, whether they have problem in hearing. So all this, right? So we uh, have to make sure that all the places are friendly. Do we have ramps at public places? Can you see ramps at public places, especially offices and, uh, you know, in the school also, we need a ramp there because naturally if someone is there on a wheelchair, how is that person going to climb up the stairs? So we need that, those ramps in the public places, right? Yes. Now, Deva, she shares some suggestions in her letter to address the issue. Select the option that complete, may, helps her complete these suggestions. In my opinion, the media can play a pivotal role in transforming people's dash, also dash against negligence to the needs of the differently abled at the tourist spots will go a long way in bringing about the positive change. Yes. The media can play a pivotal role in transforming people's beliefs and traditions, composing songs, perceptions, and attitudes. Do we have beliefs and traditions towards uh, the differently abled? Is it? We don't have beliefs and traditions. What is it? It's our, like I had discussed earlier, it's our prejudices, it's our thoughts, it's our attitude. So where is that word which talks about our thoughts and ideas? Yes? Perception is what? Perception is the thoughts, the ideas. So, yes, so we pick up B, perception, attitude. Look at the next one. Also, cautioning the authorities against, yes. So this suits completely. As I said, may narrow down your choices. Find tricks in the way you can narrow down your answers. You can narrow down your options. Okay. Right. At least be very confident of one answer. And then match the other things. This is a little way in which you can do. Or you can save your time. Otherwise, if you start going through. Okay. This is the sequence. This is the order. That is this. It is going to be a little bit of a problem. Okay. Right. And please here remember. You have to do any five out of the. Six, read for internal choice. Next is select the option that correctly justifies the choice of the concluding portion of this letter. When we write a letter to the editor, when we write the conclusion, what do we expect in the conclusion? You're giving your suggestions, you're giving your opinions. Once again, you end with the hope that this letter would be what in the newspaper? What, what, what should happen to that letter? It should be, yes, it should be published there. More people should read it, isn't it? Right, so what are we going to talk about here? Which option? I expect the authorities to take action on this issue. Please post my thoughts in your newspaper. Right, next is... I hope my views get published in the columns of your newspaper so that this issue may garner more public support and awareness. Which one is more appropriate? Second one. I expect the authorities. Is the editor going to tell the authorities you do this? 
as i said the editor is a medium of highlighting an issue of highlighting a problem okay right the editor is going to make the people aware of this problem and uh, the people will realize that see this is uh, what needs to be done and the concerned authorities we can take action against it so two is better right yes to option 2 because of the tone of polite expectation or no to option 2 because of the certainty we want yes right so it is c we agree with the second part and let us see the options that are there no is absolutely wrong so yes is the correct option okay is this clear to all of you yes okay let's do the next one select the option that completes the concluding line i hope that my letter will help spread awareness about the issue lead to action against all authorities responsible at two spots say is it a letter of complaint is it improve circulation see i'm writing this letter many people are going to read your newspaper now so mr editor say thank you to me is it no it is not it is not going to help in improving the circulation already if it is a widely read newspaper people read it because of its content isn't it result in positive reviews by the readers is it yes do we need uh, positive reviews by the readers or we need to spread awareness about the issue wrong answer nakal ke liye bhi uh, i saw you just uh, copying the there okay spread awareness absolutely correct see here you look at it here blindly you just copy the answers read the answers yourself read the answers yourself find out you are intelligent enough to find out these answers you have done so many letters of uh, writing to the editor and a purpose is to spread awareness which issue are we talking about the problem that differently able people face at the tourist spots okay right yes next is your literature part now before i start with the literature part and uh, monday you have a test also i wanted to quickly revise the chapters right any problem with the three chapters we have any problem with the triumph of surgery no problem any problem with the story no problem what was the other one there's another chapter no what was the third one oh god i don't remember the name one is hari singh is there yeah invisible man yes yes uh, griffin right footprints without feet any problem with those now here remember please uh, once again for reading look at the comprehension passages you will find that passage is meant to check your understanding more than expecting you to find facts from the passage it is more of your uh, sensitivity i would say how much have you understood the thoughts behind it what uh, is there you know like the message right so reading has changed a lot and i'm very happy you know otherwise you people would look at the questions and then find the answer oh there is it it was opposite now you will have to read the questions and there is no need for you to look at the passage even unless and until a paragraph has been mentioned or something is there it is your understanding have you understood the topic have you understood the idea have you understood the thought so let us change the way we prepare now let us change our outlook towards languages and for that matter for all the subjects we have to think beyond the text also as science isn't it right so okay yes 